I'm gonna let y'all know what the base stat or what stats Jejin had at this point, okay? Jejin had 100 flat amp and 100, or it was 98 flat amp and like 96% skill amp. Insane levels of damage. So being that she's got that much damage, you'd assume she's not tanky, right? Well, she had 126 defense and 3k HP. So here we see the problem, right? Mages can build full damage and they still have tank stats because of it, because they're literally slapping tank stats on every mage best in slot item for damage. Scotty is the best in slot arm piece for damage on mages at the moment, but it also provides a fuck ton of HP by the end of the game. Kundala, insane for mages at the moment because it gives 20% skill amp, not to mention it also has the passive, which applies your skill amp on auto attacks every three seconds. Oh, and it gives HP and movement speed. Sorry, forgot about that. Imperial Crown, it's just a tank item, but it does happen to have 10% skill amp on it. Uh, so mages do benefit from it more than most characters would. However, it is just an insanely good defensive item. <clears throat> um, and then Scott, uh, Kubana. Kubana has 40 defense. 13% now. Yeah, they buffed its amp and they lowered its HP. Uh, what's the point of the game when mages do well in the late game? At the moment, there's you shouldn't be... Uh, at the moment, if you're not playing mages, then you're not playing meta. Like, honestly. All the I wholeheartedly believe all the best characters in the game are characters that can abuse the AP uh, the amp items right now. The purpose would be if you don't enjoy playing mages, you're going to just just keep playing what you enjoy. But in the sense of like what's solid, mm, if you're not playing mages, then you're just you're crushing yourself. Hey guys, it's me, Motive Games. I'm just here to remind y'all that if you're enjoying the content, drop a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Maybe leave us a comment knowing what kind of content you'd like to see going forward into the future. My editor does a really good job on these videos and works really hard. And any little bit of insight you can give us on what you'd like to see more is really helpful. Enjoy the video. So I was sitting here looking over the boots real fast, thinking it's like, so if y'all didn't know, a balance patch came out last night and every character moves faster and boots were reduced, all boots were reduced to compensate. And I'm like, boots matter less and less as time goes on. Like, holy shit. We could like, you can make up what you lose in boots on like mithril items and accessories. Like, quiver is almost a pair of boots. No, I mean, swift strides is in, is ideally like, you know, it's like 0 0.12 and then like, you could have on these until you get like myth helm. It's wild. Use another armor instead of boots? No, it'll never work that way. It's always been like modular slots. Use one of each? Yeah, and it'll always be that way. That won't change. <clears throat> That's by design and uh, on purpose because they don't want you to be able to like stack multiple of the same item or multiple of items in the same category to overlap stats too much. The idea is by separating everything into slots, you can limit and design um, how routing is done and the way things are built and what beneficiaries you can get from each other. Because the last thing you want is for people to be able to just like, let's say they could stag multiple boots, you know? That'd be busted as fuck. What's up, ETF? boots would be underpowered no movement speed is one of the most important stats in this game so being able to apply multiple pieces of movement speed to your build uh to give up like a less important slot would be insane look at all the dragon ball fighter changes yeah there's some interesting stuff lose the 1v1 not necessarily there's a lot of low impact slots that you could give up like you could give up your accessory slot for a second pair of boots and you wouldn't even notice half the time in fact if you compare white crane fan just straight jackets. It's just straight jackets are just strictly better. They're way, way more movement speed. They have just about the same flat amp. They also give you SP regen. You lose healing reduction, but oh well, you can kite way better now. <clears throat> it would also allow you to like get on top of people. Like imagine if Bernice could have two sets of feather boots. He'd have plus 60% attack speed and 0.6 MS. He'd be, 
You'd be faster than anyone else on the map. And you'd fucking stomp them. Uh, Telerian timepiece got buffed. Which is very interesting because I don't feel like it was actually something that needed to be buffed. Same MS as Magnus now? Yeah, Magnus got nerfed again. I'm probably swapping off Magnus now because of this. Uh, it's already been a struggle to get on top of people, so... I'm probably just going to swap over to a uh, really hard forcing uh, Tanfa Wu. I just need to figure out like how I want to do it and what I want to build. I've been doing tactical Tanfa because I felt like it actually gave me like a solid uh, place, you know, in this meta, but... I'm actually probably gonna go to my sock now, which means I'll have to change my routing. This routing doesn't really work as it stands. Um, as much as I love this routing, it's pretty solid. Yeah, look at the patch. It's very minor. Uh, so we're gonna do more theory crafting today, try to figure out what I want to play on Kundu, keeping in mind that I'm probably going to shift to making Tilarian timepiece. Time game. patrol! Agilities, thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. Um, I feel kind of tired today, actually. Also, music is extremely loud. My bad, guys. Yeah, I'm kind of tired today, and I don't know why. Um, but I don't plan on, like, stopping or anything. So, yeah, let's just start messing around, see if we can find anything we wanted to do on this. The meta right now? Yeah, the meta is really rough. What's wrong with the meta? Uh, it's basically mages, like the entirety. Every best character in the game abuses the same two items being Glacials and Scotties. It's Glacials and Scotties are just way too good. So it's like, if you can play it, then you're great. And if you can't, then you're kind of fucked. Did anything happen to Nadine? Uh, I don't think so, no. She just got the same base MS change that everyone else got. Uh, for an example, yesterday I was watching Ghost Electricity, very good Hyajin player in his own right, right? And um, he had two kills going into final circle against Binx on Lee Dai Lin, playing Cerberus Lee Dai Lin, uh, with eight kills. Both of them best in slot, as in they both had their entire best kit. So, it wasn't even close, right? The eight kill Lee Dai Lin didn't even have a fucking chance. You know, it was ridiculous. But he's got nerfed this minor patch? Yeah, I, I don't completely understand why, but it's just the Feather Boots nerf. But anyways, um, you don't think Lead Island scales anyways? Lead Island's one of the best late game characters there are. Or is, is supposed to be. <clears throat> Especially considering best in slot. And I'm talking like they were actually best in slot. In fact, let me just pull up the DAC and see if I can find the game for y'all real fast. It's like Binks123 or something. So you guys can see just how fucking insane this was. Was this it? Yeah, this was it. Okay, he's not completely best in I mean, he's wearing Kundala, but yeah, look at this. Look at this cracked fucking build. Mithril armor, Mithril boots, auto arms, Chinese opera mask, Kundala. The only thing, Ghost, Ghost Electricity was not best in slot. Ghost Electricity did not have uh, glacials. <clears throat> it wasn't even close. Binks didn't even have a fucking chance. And it's just... Disgusting. Because it's like... I'm gonna let y'all know what the base stat- Or what stats Hyajin had at this point, okay? Hyajin had 100 flat amp and 100- 100%, Or it was 98 flat amp and like 96% skill amp. Insane levels of damage. So being that she's- got that much damage, you'd assume she's not tanky, right? Well, she had 126 defense and 3k HP. So here we see the problem, right? Mages can build full damage and they still have tank stats because of it, because they're literally slapping tank stats on every mage best in slot item for damage. Scotty is the best in slot arm piece for damage on mages at the moment, but it also provides a fuck ton of HP by the end of the game. Kundala, insane for mages at the moment because it gives 20% skill amp, not to mention it also has the passive, which applies your skill amp on auto attacks every three seconds. Oh, and it gives HP and movement speed. Sorry, forgot about that. Imperial Crown, it's just a tank item, but it does happen to have 10% skill amp on it. Uh, so mages do benefit from it more than most characters would. However, it is just an insanely good defensive item. 
Um, and then Scott, uh, Kubana. Kubana has 40 defense. 13% now. Yeah, they buffed its amp and they lowered its HP. Uh, what's the point of the demon? Mages do well in the late game. At the moment, there's you shouldn't be. Uh, at the moment, if you're not playing mages, then you're not playing meta. Like honestly, all the I wholeheartedly believe all the best characters in the game are characters that can abuse the AP uh, the amp items right now. The purpose would be if you don't enjoy playing mages, you're going to just just keep playing what you enjoy. But in the sense of like what's solid, mm, if you're not playing mages, then you're just you're crushing yourself. Hey guys, it's me, Motive Games. I'm just here to remind y'all that if you're enjoying the content, drop a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Maybe leave us a comment knowing what kind of content you'd like to see going forward into the future. My editor does a really good job on these videos and works really hard. And any little bit of insight you can give us on what you'd like to see more is really helpful.